Hey guys, it's Miss Griffey, and welcome to part one of Let's Play The Sims 4 City Living. I just launched up the game for the first time, and I am so excited to start this expansion pack and this new Let's Play series. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I am... I guess this is a, as good time as any. My name is Tanya, and I'm a simmer and I have been for many many years now and I took a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube but I am back I am very excited for this expansion pack and so let's just jump right into it we got this little pop up here when you load up the game for the first time after you install it that's it. explore the city of San Maishuno explore Explore a densely populated city with a variety of neighborhoods. Paint a mural in the arts quarter, sing your heart out at the karaoke bar in the fashion district, or shoot hoops in the spice market. And like there's a bunch more here. Discover lively cultural festivals, work your way up from starter apartment to penthouse, which I think is going to be really fun. All the different storylines with like the low end apartments and all the stuff that can go wrong. All those gremlins and <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited about it. And there's new careers that I'm super pumped about. I believe there's politician, art critic, and social media. So that should be really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new game. Well, first it's gonna let us know that the Day of the Dead challenge is still going in. I hope everyone had a great Halloween. But we're gonna go ahead and start a new game right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and create our what new character off screen and I will be right back. All right, we are back and here is the sim we're going to be playing with. Her name is Catalea Blue, and she's going to be a social media person. I'm excited to explore that new career, and I've kind of um, mostly added her in new clothing options and accessories that came from City Living, although her hair is not from it, because I didn't think any of the hairs that came with City Living fit her too well. But... Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at her different outfits. Ah. Uh, this is her everyday attire. She's really into neutrals and dark colors. Um, except for her formal attire, which I picked this absolutely stunning outfit. I mean, she's not going to be doing too much formal events, I don't think. But I thought this was beautiful, and it looks wonderful on her. So uh, gave her a new athletic outfit that to me looks like it's the Lakers colors. <laughs> it looks like a Lakers jersey. Uh, there's um, basketball added in this game, so I thought it'd be really cool for her to dress the part and play. we can play a little bit of basketball around the city. You know, sleepwear is nothing special, just that old um, overall um, outfit. Um, gave her this cute little basic white dress for her party attire, which is also new. And swimwear is just a bathing suit. Um, I also gave her this new henna tattoo that I thought looked really awesome. So anyway, let's go ahead and save this household, the blue household. Oh, she looks, she looks excited. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and save and play, and we're gonna jump right into Sam Maishuno, and I'm very excited. Um, oh yeah. I forgot, we can give, um, when you make friends in this game, you can give them a key to your apartment so they just could come visit you whenever. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be really cool, but maybe not so cool sometimes. It, it'll be really fun to play with. So, looks like San Maishuno is right here. Before New Crest, I would think it would be after. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and click on San Maishuno and take a look at the world. Uh, I've seen these thumbnails so many times. Alright, so we have four districts. We have the Arts Quarter, we have Uptown, the Fashion District, and the Spice Market. I think the Spice Market is probably going to be the most affordable, and it's definitely inspired from New York City. Um, whereas I think Uptown is like everyone's goal. <laughs> it's like all penthouses. Yeah, these are, I think, pretty much all penthouses. Um, the Arts Quarter sounds kind of cool too, but uh, let's see what we can afford. You must use an unoccupied lot for your household. Yeah, and I can't afford that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't afford these lots. So let's click on this one. We're in the, this is what, fashion district, I think? Uh, oh, and there's lot traits. So this um, lot has lively neighbors. And 
weekly rent $300, deposit $600. This has the lot trade needs TLC. And this lot is already occupied. Hmm. Alright, but $300. I don't know. Let's see how much Spice Market is. Because I kind of like the festivals in Spice Market. Obviously, you have the festival that's all about like spicy foods. I don't. Is it called the Spice Festival? It might be. But uh, also the... Um, the flea market comes to Spice Market, and that's probably the festival. Festival, the festival other than um, Geek Con that I'm most excited about. So, uh, let's see. What do we want to? Where do we want to live? Um, this one has gremlins. I don't want gremlins. Historical and haunted. Do we want a historical haunted apartment? That'd be kind of interesting. Um, or we can get the Needs TLC apartment. Oh, this one's already occupied. Alright, this one's $400, this one's $600, and this one's $600. So the cheapest one is the one with gremlins. So, uh, oh, that floor is so ugly, but I mean, we can totally just, you know, we can do it. Anyway, gremlin. this is a snug apartment in the heart of the Desirable Spice Market District. It has gremlins, which means stuff break stuff breaks here a lot it's like there I cannot talk today it's like there are tiny goblins got <laughs> oh my goodness it's like there are tiny goblins who come out at night and smash things but that and there oh but that would be ridiculous right that's weird that it doesn't read the whole thing right there are we gonna brave it with some gremlins I think we might so we're gonna go ahead and confirm and we're gonna move in here um I'm going to unfurnish. That'll give us 19,000 simoleons to decorate with. So I'm going to go ahead and have us move right on in to a gremlin filled apartment because it's cheap and it's in the <laughs> district that I really want. So hopefully they're not as bad as it sounds, <laughs> but I guess we will find out. Alrighty, we are here in the Spice District. At our new apartment um, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look we're in like the common area I guess and I guess these are other people's apartments and this is the neighborhood but first let's just see the layout we have um, looks pretty basic um, when I asked unfurnished I assumed there would still be cabinets and a toilet but apparently they didn't give us anything so <laughs> we're gonna have a lot to do but I guess this is the little kitchen area we have a very narrow little bathroom of course we can move walls around inside we just can't at the exterior wall since this is an apartment lot and yeah it looks uh, decently spacious so I'm gonna go ahead and furnish this and once again I will be right back alrighty we are done furnishing I tried to make this apartment look a little bit nicer um, but I wanted to leave a little bit of money left so we have uh, 2,443 simoleons left and I think it looks a lot better there's still a lot we can do we got a lot of empty space but I think the apartment looks a lot better. Hopefully it'll make living with gremlins a little bit more tolerable. But anyway, this is our little kitchen. Got our table and chairs. A lot of the stuff I picked out for this apartment is from City Living. Um, some of it's not, but most of it is. Like this one cube desk. I'm super excited about this. Um, I kind of expected living in an apartment I'd have way less space than this, but I have quite a lot of space and I love these curtains. And this new fluffy rug. I'm so excited. Um, oh, and I grabbed a gaming console, which I probably should have put a little bit closer to the TV. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Put that right there. Alright. Um, and so, yeah, nothing too crazy for the living room. I put down this new flooring, which I believe was added for the, um, for the basketball courts. Um, but I think it looks really cool in here. And then this is a V bedroom, which I love. I love this new... Uh, brick wallpaper and these new plants and like everything in here <laughs> is from City Living. The uh, brick wallpaper, the light, um, the only thing that's not is this little plant. But both side tables and the bed, there's new beds and this rug is actually really cool. I think this theme for this apartment is very well in line with what uh, Catalea would like. So anyway, you know, basic bathroom using some new objects as well. So we're just going to jump into gameplay now. Have her come on in here. And we want her to join the... Ooh, that was weird. Alright. Um, game's a little bit more laggy than it was before. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and have her join the social media career and see if we can go ahead and do that. Um, 
Do we just do it through find a job? Probably. Because it's not a career like um, in get to work. It's just a uh, regular job. So hmm. not that those are, I mean, you still get those in here. I forget because in The Sims 3 there was jobs and professions. But um, social media. What's trending? Where's the best food in town? Who's the most interesting celebrity? Start a career in social media to be the person that answers these questions for their followers. Blog and check in at venues and keep followers coming back for more. Career branches are internet personality and public relations. Interesting. Uh, I'm way more <laughs> interested in internet personality than public relations, but you never know. I mean, I think uh, Catalea is more of a wants to be famous on the internet type of person, but I guess we will find out. I just realized I never read off her aspirations or her traits in uh, when, when we were in Creative Sims, so I'll do that in a minute, but they are hiring for a media intern for $16 an hour from 9 to 3, um, Monday through Friday, so we are going to go ahead and accept that, and then I'm going to talk a little bit about my sim. Uh, let's get rid of this Day of the Dead request. Um... Why am I clicking everywhere? All right, Catalea. Um, so her, uh, here it is. She has the city native aspiration, which is the new one that comes with this expansion pack. Um, she wants to, it basically just takes you through all of the new stuff um, there is. So we're going to go through that, like introduce herself to new people in three different neighborhoods, give a key to her apartment to a friend. Oh, gosh, I'm not sure I'm ready for that yet. And order three times from food stalls, which I definitely want to do. But her traits are vegetarian, which is new with this expansion, active, and creative. I thought creativity would be really good for our social media presence. Um, and then this is just from choosing the city native. She's happier when she's in her home neighborhood. All right, so we're going to go ahead and explore. Ooh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I was going to explore town, but uh, we have a social media profile to create. Um, would Catalea Blue get a jump start and accept the assignment? We need to create a social media profile, so sure. So I guess we get like assignments outside of work um, to do work stuff. Uh, would it be in social networking? Yes. Create a social media profile. So we're going to go ahead and do that and get her started on this new career. Uh, that doesn't really, okay, now it's starting to look like Facebook. Catalea has created a new social media profile. Nobody can go anywhere in the social media sphere if they don't have an online presence. Use your social media profile to gain followers, grow your network, and become an online powerhouse. <laughs> oh boy. All right, what else do we need to do? Ideal mood is playful. She doesn't have work for two days, and she did her work from home assignment. So we have uh, two days to just kind of explore the city, so I'm actually going to zoom out here a little bit, see where we're at. We can't really access these buildings, but I really like this area. And, like, look at all the little cars. It's so exciting. So we, if we go out this way, uh, there's some food trucks over here, and there's a basketball court. Uh, there's another building. The buildings are really cool looking. They're definitely New York inspired. I love it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just come down here, and I want to check out a food stall. Say hi to some natives. Jasmine Derbita and Arun Bita. I hope I'm pronouncing those names right. But we're going to come down here and... Ooh, hold on, hold on. I don't want to order food yet. I can haggle? I'm going to come down here and haggle. I don't, I don't want to get food for full price if I can get it for cheaper. Let's go ahead down there. Game is being a little bit slow, but I heard this patch uh, is slowing people's games down and making them freeze quite a bit. So I'm not too concerned about it right now. It's just going to be a little jumpy uh, through this part, I guess. Oh, and there's a street performer. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I definitely need... Oh, hold on. We acquired the charisma skill. Oh, my gosh. Some of this stuff is happening. All right. Am I haggling? You drive a hard bargain. Tell you what, I'll give you 25% off. Heck yes. So let's order discounted food. We can get taquitos, empanadas, Bean and cheese burritos, chicken burrito, spinach wrapped veggie burrito, and tomato wrapped veggie burrito. Um, I think I'm gonna get the spinach wrapped. I gotta remember she's a vegetarian and like not to feed her meat. It's gonna be a problem, but 
here's a little bit of view of some of the more new clothing items in town. Oh my gosh, this lag is insane. Um, but there's like this top and all of these people's clothes and her hair, um, which I think is gorgeous. But um, so we're going to go ahead and get our uh, order, a wrap of some sort right here. Uh, spinach wrapped veggie burrito, vegetarian safe. So we're gonna go ahead and eat that. And then I want to talk to this street performer over here. Um, and no, we're just gonna watch them. Um, I think if you tip them, I think that's what I heard, that you will like unlock that outfit so you can go ahead and perform on the streets for money as well, which is super awesome. Uh, I think it's cool that this. Uh, expansion pack is at, not only added these three careers politician and social media and art critic or whatever critic um, I think it's more than art I think it's music as well um, but it also added a bunch of ways you can earn money outside of that I mean they're using like stuff that we already have in the game in order to do that but I think it's really cool so we're watching this performer over here um, let's see if we can tip her oh gosh flash crazy eyes flirt <laughs> scare tease wave at some of these are kind of weird um like why would you flash your crazy eyes or try and scare them that's so mean i'm gonna go ahead and tip her um she's doing a good job she's out here oh and she's a teenager i, I didn't even know i was hanging who are you i should really get going now thanks for hanging out with me see you later i have no idea who that was <laughs> who are you <laughs> maybe we'll find her later is she in our friends list uh, that's not our friends list. Why? I can't I'm not working well today. Uh, is that our landlord? Our landlord's name is Kango, but I, their picture's not loading. Anyway, um, unlocked the living statue outfits. As a reward for your generous tip, you have unlocked I have unlocked metallic face paint, a hat, and a full body outfit for both a cowboy and an astronaut. Cool. Wearing all three pieces for either costume will give you your sim the self interaction to busk for tips that's pretty cool i'm definitely gonna want to do that at some point uh food carts are already closed down um so we're not gonna get to uh get any more food from those right now but um uh let's see what else we have that we can do in city living so we're gonna head on over and try our hand at basketball. See how we can do over here. It sounds really fun to me. We're gonna jump on into our athletic attire and see how we can do um, with some of the people that live around here. Look at him. He's just like, looks like he's trying to show off. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my goodness, Catalea. You're just like squ squatting really far to the ground and trying really hard. It's really cute. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Oh, did you get it? I don't know. Oh, she's doing the same thing. This is really cool, though. I think it's just the athletic skill, I'm fairly certain. Um, so if she gets. She uh, has the. What? The uh, trait that she uh, is active, so she's going to want to work out more. So she'll probably get better at basketball. Oh, and like somebody's over here playing the guitar for tips. Um, that's another thing. They added these little um, stands so you could uh, perform in public places with a, either a guitar or a violin. I think you might be able to incorporate singing with that. I'm not sure. I know they added the uh, karaoke machines as well. There's like karaoke bars now, which I'm super excited about. Um, but uh, let's come on over here and watch this performance because I think this is pretty cool. And this like world is just gorgeous. Oh, camera. Cooperate, please. Like, ugh. Look at how awesome this looks. I'm very excited to just play more of this expansion. Um, I just hope that this patch gets repatched soon so the lag goes away. Where did she go? I don't know. She's gone, though. Um, oh, she's right there. But her, like, icon down here is just missing. She doesn't really want to watch that apparently because she keeps running back over here to play some more basketball So maybe she's gonna be like really into basketball. That'd be kind of cool uh, I'd like to see uh, how good she can get at it. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Where are you going? She's like, I don't know about this, but it still says she's playing Watch per now. She's gonna watch the performance. Okay Why don't you go ahead and tip her as well? 
<laughs> oh, we don't have a lot of money. Here's a book. <laughs> did I did I click it? Did I click it? No, I didn't. Tip a dollar. Oh wait, I totally did. Oh, that's really cool. I like the anime. Oh, I think we did it twice. That's fine. She's brave and she's doing really good. What's your name? This is Sophia. Oh, she's a teen. Why is everyone out here teens? I guess because like they don't have too much of uh, better jobs. But um, that's awesome. Keep rocking out, girl. All right. Uh, what are we doing? Kelly, where are you? She's like, I'm frozen right here. I'm gonna watch this <laughs> this lady busk for tips again. Um, but yeah, this neighborhood is really awesome. This lag is ridiculous right now, though. Hopefully, it'll be fixed soon. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this part here. And next part, we're gonna explore the different districts, and we're gonna dive more into the social media career and maybe uh, busking for tips and maybe selling stuff and checking out some festivals once they come to town. But yeah, if you liked this, please, please, please subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up, comment down below, anything I can do to um, improve and uh, keep going with this. I'm really excited to continue this Let's Play. Uh, I hope you guys are too. Please let me know what you think of this expansion pack so far. And I will see you guys in the next part. <laughs> Happy simming.